Hello, my name's Stuart Herbert, and this is one of a set of videos I've recorded showing how I've set Sublime Text 2 up for doing PHP development. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to start adding plugins to Sublime Text 2 and how to start customizing it to suit your personal preferences. Now, out of the box, Sublime Text 2 is a very good text editor. It's very fast and you get all the default features such as the go to anything panel. And it's so good in fact that I've seen people work with it in its standard form for days, weeks on end and be perfectly happy with it. Not realizing, not knowing that there's even more you can get out of it than what it already provides. Now that's a pretty good testament to a tool, I'd say. But you can get more out of it. There's more you can do with it by adding third-party plugins. And all of this is possible thanks to the granddaddy of all third-party plugins, Will Bond's Package Control. Package Control is a plugin designed to install and manage other plugins. And it's the very first thing you should install on any machine where you install Sublime Text 2. Installation is very easy. Go to the installation page and you'll see this big block of Python here. Copy that to your clipboard. Go back into Sublime Text 2. Open the console control and back tick. Um, fans of Quake will know exactly uh, where that console is. And then paste in the Python, hit return. And what's just happened is Sublime Text 2 has gone and downloaded the package control plugin, dropped it into place, and now to finish the activation you have to restart Sublime Text 2. And I've not shortened the sequence at all. It really was that quick to go and get it. It's a very small plugin, but very effective. So let's restart Sublime Text 2. And at first, it doesn't look any difference. No difference at all. But what's happened, if we go to the Preferences menu, is we now have a Package Control option down here at the bottom we select that, we now have a list of commands provided by the package control plugin. Now you're going to want to start with the discover packages option. This takes you in your web browser to the list of community packages that are available for Sublime Text 2. You're going to spend a lot of time in here looking through the available plugins and deciding which ones you're going to try out to get Sublime Text 2 customized for your own needs. It's got this very handy real-time search. So if I type PHP, let's just sort by name, then you can scroll down and you can see what's been installed and what's available. Very handy. And there's new plugins appearing all the time. Always worth coming back and exploring what's available. Now, if we go back to Sublime Text 2, the first package I'm going to install is a new theme, a new skin for Sublime Text 2 itself. There we go. Install package, this line here. And what this is going to do, this goes and downloads all the available plugin repos so it's downloading a list of those repos and then it's going to give me a list to choose from for what to install so it's just doing that now and I'm going to install the soda theme because I think this looks better than the default theme so that's now been installed but before to use it I have to customize my preferences. 
Now if you're used to tools like NetBeans, one of the big differences between those tools and Sublime Text 2 is that Sublime Text 2 is mostly configured through its config file, not through GUI um, dialog boxes. Preferences menu, user settings. So there's a ton of settings in the default file. The user file is an override file, so anything you put in here overrides the corresponding setting in here. So let's open that up. And at the minute I've already got a setting to switch off the Vim mode for Sublime Text 2 um, because I don't want to use it personally. So now to activate the theme what we need to do is we need to add a setting to this file. Now to find the setting if we go back to the community page search for soda and now what we want to do is go to the home page for the soda plugin. Now it's hosted on GitHub, so I'm just loading that up now. There we go. And if we scroll down to the README, past the very pretty screenshots, activating the theme. Here are the instructions. And so we want to copy this entry here which is the dark version of the theme because I'm running Ubuntu. Mac users tend to prefer the light theme, I've noticed. So we want to paste this into here. Now this is a this is a bog standard JSON file. If we move the mouse down here to the bottom right of the recording you can see it's this JSON syntax buffer. So this file must be valid JSON syntax. Let's save this and now Excuse me, you can see it's uh, partially applied the changes. But we just need to restart Sublime Text 2 to pick up all of the skin changes. And voila! We now have Soda as our default skin. So we go back to this PHP code, and here we've got the default syntax highlighting colour scheme. Um, doesn't do much for me, I've got to be honest. Your mileage may vary. And on the preferences menu, we can see there's a number of colour schemes available. And there's more you can download. Some come in dark and light versions. Um, yep, I don't think there's much more to be said about those and you can download and install any colour schemes that uh, work with TextMate also work with Sublime Text. It's quite clear the author of Sublime Text is going after the user base for TextMate as his starting point. Now there are also colour schemes available to download via package control and that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to go to install package Again, that's loading the list of repositories. And once that's done, if I type color, you get an idea of the color schemes available. This one here, dogs, sorry, at the bottom here, dogs looks interesting. I have no idea what that is. But I'm going to install the fix color scheme. That's now installed. And then to use it, preferences, color scheme, fix dark. Voila. The next step from here is tweaking the default settings to suit, which I'll cover in my next video. Thank you for watching.